Viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Free Space Blue Planet. When we last left off, the Vishnans, 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 as Samuel Bay called them, had saved us from a Shivan onslaught of three destroyers, which I think would have been pretty much the end of the Temeraire and the rest of the battle group, or half the battle group. Unfortunately, he's a little stressed out by all this, being that he's the only one that can talk to them, so. You know, let's continue on here and see if he has a total mental breakdown. Would be kind of different for a main character. Just, well, no, they did in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be that different. Be different for a space sim. Well, we'll see what happens. Personal log, Commander Bay. That feeling again, as though I were a nexus, a fulcrum for the universe. When I move, the universe moves with me. I felt it in the Second Great War, but it's nothing compared to how I feel now. The Admiral doesn't believe me when I told her that the Orestes was in danger. She wants to bring the fleet back up to full strength before organizing an expedition to head back to Delta Serpentis. I'm reluctant to inform her about my current relationship with the Vishnans, how they communicate with me and no one else. I think I'd be more likely referred to Medlab than to be taken seriously. The Admiral is a good person and a fine commanding officer. This is why I undertake this next action with only the utmost reluctance. And Bay has a really good point here that he po that he mentions. Command really isn't stupid. But then again, it's not really command. It's a couple admirals who are kind of on their own here, cut off from the GTVA back in their home universe. But they're not really making bad decisions. And yeah, he's self-aware enough to realize that going up to the Admiral going, guess what? I talk with a race of mysterious aliens all by myself. They're in my head. I listen to all the voices. Is, you know, like you said, more likely to end him up in the psychiatric evaluation than anything else. Oh, okay, that's it. Ooh. Cutscene time. No weapon, okay. Approach Sacred Keeper. No turning back now, too many lives depend on what I do. What the heck is that? Tremere Shuttle 6. Commander! Please don't do this! Corey, Taylor, you guys shouldn't be here. Return to the Temeraire. I don't want to drag you two into this for no good reason. Sorry, sir. We're not leaving. We told you, sir. We're here to watch your back. Who's gonna watch out for you if we're not with you? I've already given my notice of leave to the Admiral. You guys are still on duty. I don't want you to get reprimanded for following me. Besides, I need to do this alone. The Admiral knows we're here, Commander. As soon as we found out you were missing and had taken an environment suit, we volunteered to go and get you back. We're not forcing you to come back to the Temeraire, Commander. We just want to know why you jumped ship and left us behind. Because, Taylor, there are some things in life that one must face alone. Some things that are just so horrifying that you can't bear to bring them down upon anyone else. I've seen these Vishnans before. They've spoken to me all my life across time and across universes. They've told me I have a destiny. And my destiny is to sacrifice my humanity to save my father. I didn't believe it at first. As a kid, it's easy to deny everything. When I grew up, though, I lost my wife and my mother to the Shivans and Capella. My father is the only person I've got left. I haven't been 100% honest with you, Taylor. When I said I'd lost my father at Capella. Yes, Commander, we know. Admiral Bay, he's in danger, and you are the only person who can save him. That's not just your father, is it, Commander? It's also the 25,000 people that we left behind in Delta Serpentis. Let us come with you, Commander. If the Admiral asks, we could say the vision has forced us into coming along. I... I don't know what to say. Well, yes would be a good start.
I'm sorry, Corey Taylor. I made this decision a long time ago. I just wish things could be different. Then... this is goodbye, sir? Yes, Taylor. This is goodbye. If fortune favours me, then we will see each other again. If not, I'll take this opportunity to say what an honour it has been serving with you two, and how grateful I feel to have shared this brief time. Goodbye, Commander. I know in my heart that we'll see you again. So, maybe not goodbye after all, but a farewell. This is it. That was pretty powerful. Won't lie. That was a good scene. Personal log. Commander Bay. Well, I did it. I set things in motion that can't be reversed. I went against my superior officer, deserted and put into question everything I learned about loyalty and obedience so that I could fulfill something which has not been anything more than a nagging feeling all my life. Everything seems to have worked out so far. My guilt at leaving Corey and Taylor behind is still present, but I have consoled myself with the thought that I won't be dragging them into something which must be done alone. What I have experienced, I can hardly describe. For the sake of future correspondence, I will attempt to do so now. My body is still intact, along with my physical effects. These Vishnans, however, don't exist in the same way we do. Their ships aren't crewed by personnel. If it didn't sound so strange, I'd say these ships of theirs are the Vishnans themselves. They are psychic beings, as pure in existence as anything we've come across. To call them energy beings would be to miss the point. They inhabit this universe in much the same way that we would inhabit a room. They exist in some other plane, far removed from our material existence. Their ships are vessels to carry their will, nothing more. When I came aboard, the Vishnans put my body into suspension. I will need little in the way of nourishment or sustenance. My psyche has been transplanted into a ship of my own. I don't experience reality as they do, but in essence, I now have a ship to carry out my will. 
Before this, the Vishnans have had no knowledge of my father. It is strange. It's almost as though my memories have unlocked specific aspects of the universe which had escaped their notice previously. They now know about the GTVA. They know how we entered this universe. Because of this, they have a connection with everyone I have ever known and met. They don't see in abstracts of time and space anymore. In a way, I think I have shown them what it means to live as a material being. Well, I think I'm going to call the video at this point here, before we continue on to what's like the next mission. This is an unexpected turn, to say the least. Um, I guess I get to fly vision ships now, that's kind of cool. But again, I'm just going to quickly give my props out if they ever end up watching this to ever design the music for this mod. It just incredibly fitting. Voice acting was solid, that last playable cutscene was great. So I'm excited to see what happens next. So we'll see you then, viewers.